This is a quick demo of Conjure UI. The idea behind this is that in this new world that we're entering, most UIs will just be generated ephemerally. Uh, they'll be created for the problem that we're, we're looking at. Uh, we'll modify them a little bit uh, interactively. We'll use them to accomplish our task and then they'll go away. So the first thing I do is I ask for a, a searchable table with the most popular fruits. Uh, and this is actually reaching out and figuring out what would a UI look like uh, for this? Uh, what would be the code to actually do it? And it actually has generated a working um, sortable table for me. I can search through it. Um, you know, I can search for uh, berries and I, I, I see all the berry ones. I can sort uh, within it. And this is entirely written on the fly. Um, I could ask it to modify this maybe, show me a picture of each one uh, in line, um, and it, it could do that. So, it, so it's a way of interactively building up this UI, accomplishing my task, and it costs me effectively nothing. So I can just throw it away and move on to the next task. In this case, I want to have a map of Northern California, including the latitude and longitude. Uh, it knows to use Leaflet. It's actually written the React components for this behind the scenes. And a lot of this was actually uh, motivated by the original GPT-4 demo where Greg Brockman was able to extract the first five seconds of a video um, by asking ChatGPT to actually invoke FFmpeg and run it in line. And that's incredibly impressive, but maybe you actually want to have a little bit more control over it where you want to scrub through and set the starting time and the ending time. And you can see here that this is actually written uh, an entire React UI using FFmpeg, uh, the WebAssembly version uh, with its little scroll bars and whatnot. And created that. So uh, I can use that one time, I, I accomplish my task, and then it goes away. Uh, similarly, uh, I want one maybe where I can uh, scrub through the video and actually have a playback at uh, different speeds. And you can see here that it's actually using the drag and drop APIs, it's using the video tag, um, it's got some scrubbers down at the bottom to control the playback speed. Um, and it just all shows me this visually. So I, I can just use this real quick, um, ask for changes to it, uh, and then toss it away. So the idea here is that, you know, as we head into uh, this world where we have assistants like uh, Siri and Google Assistant and ChatGPT that actually work, the vast majority, maybe something like 40% of all of the UIs that we use day to day just kind of go away. Uh, if they can actually reach out into the world and cause some effect to happen, you know, make a reservation or, you know, transfer money on my bank account, or they can reach out and find data and show it to me. Many, many, many of the UIs that I use day to day just kind of go away. Now, I think that there will be uh, maybe 10 to 20% of the UIs we use today that are kind of built in a painstakingly manual way, very artisanally crafted, uh, but th that will actually shrink over time. And in the middle, we're going to these dynamically generated UIs that pop up for a specific task uh, and then can be molded to fit the exact domain, used and then tossed away that just disappear into the ether. 